name is Hartmut Kolb. We are here at the Siemens booth at the uh, Origin. These proteins uh, cause normally do a good job at uh, running our entire uh, um, life. However, sometimes uh, they go awry and they don't do what they're supposed to do, and that causes disease. The uh, idea of molecular imaging is to identify those molecular processes that cause that. And uh, that will lead to um, new early diagnosis of disease before it actually starts, which will be a real case scenario, or to allow, allow uh, the monitoring of treatments. For example, uh, in cancer, you would uh, see how a given experimental treatment of cancer uh, responds with a given patient, and that's uh, a personal thing. And uh, in addition, it would lead to drug discovery, because we would need to work with pharma companies to match the molecular diagnostic tools that we are developing at Siemens with uh, the right drugs. And um, the Siemens has invested, has invested about um, many million dollars of, of um, research dollars to uh, build a new research facility in Culver City, Los Angeles, to find new imaging tracers that um, report the presence or the onset of disease. Uh, as one example, uh, if you had a way to um, identify the presence of amyloid in, in the brain, you would be able to uh, measure exactly whether or not you have uh, onset of Alzheimer's disease or not. If you were able to measure the presence of certain uh, cell proliferating proteins, like kinases, uh, then you would be able to, uh, to identify exactly whether a given patient has these kinases present that will allow you to then treat them with better uh, treatments. Or if you had ways to uh, identify uh, blood vessel growth or hypoxia, you can then fine tune the treatment to, to suit the needs of the patient. And that's really the promise of personalized medicines. Every patient gets what he needs or she needs. And um, the timelines are for us um, that development takes, takes several years, and but we imagine that uh, it'll take maybe five to ten years for the next trace to come out. But now the one that's to be used the mostly is chlorodioxy glucose, which measures energy consumption, which is a very general process. Our goal is to find new imaging tracers over the next five to ten years that uh, allow the measurement of more um, uh, specific disease processes. And uh, if you have more information, uh, can be found on our website uh, at Siemens.